All right, we are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Mike is here from Providence G-Pub. We've got some chili and G-Pub nachos on the menu. Perfect for a day like this and perfect for the weekend. And who doesn't like some chili and some delicious nachos? Thanks for coming in, Mike. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here. Okay, so we've got chili. What kind of chili do you make? I mean, some people will make it with just beans. Other people will make it with beans and meat inside or like large pieces of steak. How do you make your chili? Yeah, so what makes our chili unique is actually the shredded short rib that's inside. Okay. We braise our own short rib in-house. It adds a really nice texture and flavor to the dish makes it a little bit unique and then our seasoning blend has some cinnamon some cumin some paprika really brings out all the flavors and it goes great on our nachos all right and tell us what we need for these nachos too. so our nachos honestly we got the best in the city we okay. got corn tortillas cheddar jack cheese pico de gallo guacamole scallions we make our queso sauce in-house oh that and looks so good. it adds a little bit of a uh, sharpness from the cheddar jack right the ooey gooey texture from the queso that you want and then some of the best chili you've ever had right on top. Sounds good to me. All right, and then you got this gr great pan, so we're gonna make these uh, make these nachos, put them in the pan, pour a little chili on top of it? Absolutely. Yeah, now is this part of the, a, a new menu you guys have or something that's always been on the menu? So we rolled out a, a new menu a few months ago and it's definitely geared towards, you know, game day. You know, we love our game day crowd there. Right. Uh, we got the best game day food and that's what we're doing. All right, sounds good. I can't wait to uh, give this a try. I love some chili, love some great nachos. We will put this together. Also, you know, Providence, uh, the, the G Pub itself is a great place for different events, great place if you're going out with family and friends, beautiful location too. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, so we are back in the kitchen this morning with Chef Mike from Providence G Pub, and we are making chili in G Pub nachos. You can smell throughout the studio how delicious they are. All right, Mike, so tell me this. Is this one of the most popular dishes on the menu for the G-Pub? What are you thinking? Absolutely. I always suggest people to get the nachos. It's a great portion, great combination of flavors. You really get a bang for your buck, and it's perfect for game day food as well. And you said that everything is made in-house, so the chili? Yep, all the chili, made the queso, everything we make in-house, everything's fresh. That's why people keep coming back for more. I mean, it's, there is something about, listen, I'll make them at home, and they're good. Mm -hmm. But I go out, and they're spectacular. Yep. And I feel like that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let, bring me through how you kind of bring together, because you know there aren't that many ingredients, but there, I feel like there has to be a pure science to getting everything perfect. Yeah, the key is simple ingredients, fresh ingredients, and not overcomplicating it. Okay, people that's actually good advice. People love cheesy nachos. You know, people love pico de gallo and guacamole with their nachos. So instead of making a mask for it, we just put it on there for you. Uh, our chili, our house-made chili, just pairs perfectly with the cheese sauce. Uh, and everything really comes together. It's a perfect shareable app, uh, perfect thing to share with a bunch of friends when you come watch the game. Does anybody ever just get it as like an entree? Absolutely. <laughs> I do it for myself all I the time. Do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know it says app, but I'm thinking entree. So how do you put everything together? So let's watch this come, let's sure, let's come to life. Sure. I'm making it right now, right? Yeah. So yeah, let's go for this. What we're going to oh. do. The chips, I don't even know how you are in here in the kitchen for the last hour not taking it's chips. Been, it's been difficult. Be it's been gone. difficult. <laughs> it's been difficult. It's lucky there's cameras on me. I love, it's true. So, it's true. Trick to any good nacho, you yeah. got to have layers, right? You can't just have one. So we're going to do two layers of cheese, right? Oh, so two layers we're of cheese. We're both going to do our sh shredded cheddar jack cheese for okay. a nice sharp cheddar flavor. And we're also going to do our house-made queso sauce. Oh, so you put the queso right on top of the other put cheese. It right on top of it. Yep. So you get both kinds of cheese. Oh, that looks so, so good it's already. nice and sharp cheddar. And it also has that smooth velvety queso and that what's everybody in the loves. Queso? What is in queso? So just the queso sauce, it's, it's more of the cheddar jack cheese. It's melted down with some heavy cream, some milk, some seasoning. And actually, our local red smoky habanero salsa to give it a little bit of a kick. Okay. Oh, and, and then you put another layer of the chips. And we're right going to put top. another layer right on top. Do you do yep. another cheese? Do you do the other cheese? Oh, we got to have extra when cheese. When you said Everybody double, I thought it. you meant like the, you're putting one, and then this one, you meant like going up. Yep. Oh. When in doubt, just put more cheese on I it. That's what everybody this. loves. And look at that. And so right. you really do try to make sure that each chip has something. Oh, yeah. We got to make sure that every chip has a good bite on it. Oh. From start to finish. Look at right? that! I mean, I could eat this with a spoon. Never yes, mind. Yes, it you could. Chip. You could. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven just to make sure that cheese is nice and hot and melted. And now tell me this: what other appetizers on your menu at the G Pub do people just love? Oh, we sell all day fried pickles, oh, chili cheese delicious. tater tots. You know, we have really our menu is really geared towards watching the game. Okay. You know, and this month coming up is really big for us. March is always good to us. Yeah. Uh, we have the PC Friars doing phenomenal this year. Yes, they are. Uh, they got their last home game this Saturday. We're really looking forward to that. And the crowd is always phenomenal. People okay. are very enthusiastic. And we also have the Celtics and the Bruins really poised to make it deep in the playoffs this year. So March is going to be a great 
a month for us in the pub, and we can't wait to have all the excited fans come and try all the awesome food. Yeah, because the apps must just be like the easiest. You know, you grab, you, you enjoy your drink, you're eating, you're kind of noshing away. Absolutely. Easy peasy. Yeah. Yep. I love it. Now, how long do you usually keep the nachos in the oven for? Just for a minute or two, just to make sure that Cheddar Jack's melted, and then we're going to top it with all of our other ingredients. With the chili and everything else yep. on top of that. The chili. It's my personal favorite. So is this, this is one of your personal favorites oh, of the menu? Absolutely. Whenever I have friends and family come to the pub, I say, just get the nachos. Just get the nachos. Yeah. I'm going to see if you want to see <laughs> All the, the, the craziness. Yes. Just, and now the guacamole too. That in the uh, that the salsa too. That's made in house. Yes, we make these the ingredients in house, and the pico also contains our Reds uh, Smoky Habanero salsa, which is a local salsa company. Um, really quality, top notch ingredients. Really fresh ingredients. So it really just helps bring everything together in the dish. Oh my gosh, we cannot wait for everything to come together completely. Because I will say, when it comes to nachos, it is that easy food that you can share because you're just grabbing the chips. Let's see what this, oh my goodness, yeah. that's what you meant. You just wanted a nice little layer on top. Nice little layer right there. Oh, Mike, this looks All delicious. Right. All right, and then we go for the Now we're gonna add our chili on chili. top. And this chili looks so hearty. This is such a hearty, perfect app too. It really is. Just this is. time of year. It's a really, it's a great meal by itself or on top of the nachos. Uh, <sighs> it's really perfect for a cold day, just like today. Look at that, just kind of cascading down. Just, that's what the people love chips. right there. Look at that. And now do you put All the right. guac and the pico right on? Right on it. Yep, we're going to put a nice big scoop right on top. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're going to have people running to this kitchen <laughs> as soon as this segment is over. We're gonna, oh, pico de gallo, that. we're just going to kind of put it all over the top here. And now remind viewers too where the G-Pub is in case anybody's watching, they haven't been and they'd like to come try. Sure, so the G-Pub's right in downtown Providence, right on Doran Street, um, really accessible right from the highway. It's right next to Kennedy Plaza and we do offer valet parking so you don't have to worry about parking in that area. That's what I was just talking to Mike about. I'm like, that's why I love coming because I know that there's a valet going by myself, it doesn't matter. Can I take a bite as I'm just Absolutely, here? I'm just finishing it up with oh, the scallions. You gotta get and the there scallions. You go. All right, I have to find like a perfect, but I'm going on the bottom because I yep. see everything right on top, ready? There you go, that's a good one. Oh my God, <laughs> so good. Yep. Oh my God, so good. We got the best nachos around, I'm telling you. Oh my God, the crunch, even with the cheese on it, you think it'd be soggy, it's not. It's so not. It's crunchy. Yep. Oh, this is delicious. Will and Brendan, this is mine. And you guys can take the scraps over here. But we're gonna head back to you guys right now. Thank you so much, Mike. This you. is awesome. Thanks head to G-Pub this weekend. <laughs>